Everybody, welcome into Northland Basketball here at Sports on Radio. Coverage provided, of course, by Choice Wireless. Couldn't do this without Choice. Big thank you to our presenting sponsors, Choice Wireless, on our coverage tonight. We're at Blue Ridge High School again this evening. The Holbrook Roadrunners have come to Lakeside to take on the Yellow Jackets, and they came away with a victory tonight. The final score in this one is, I didn't grab that, no, 61 to 38. 61 38, Holbrook gets the win tonight. The Roadrunners with the win are now even overall in the record for the season. They are now two and two, and in the region, they are one and one. And the Sports on Radio's player of the game is standing right there, and she joins us now. I want to thank you for joining us, Matea Averly. How you doing? Welcome in. Good, thank you. Congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. Well, you came out, you played a Blue Ridge team that's getting steadily better, playing better basketball now than when we saw them last. They're going to get some active transfers from uh, from Alchese coming soon. That's a team that's on the rise right now. But the Roadrunners, you guys got out early. You established the tempo right at the start of this thing, and you had it going. Tell me about the victory tonight. Tell me what it took for you guys, you ladies, to get the win. Uh, I believe it took both offense and defense, being able to execute both. Um, being able to control the boards and being able to control the tempo. I think we should have be, been able to box out better because they got quite a few offensive boards. But other than that, I think we executed our plays on the offensive side well. That was the thing that I would say was the most impressive thing I thought about Holbrook all night long. A lot of set plays and executed so well. I'll, I'll take you to an example. In that second half, you, your team was making an inbound pass from, from this sideline, you ran a curl around the opposite side of the key and a beautiful pass thrown over the top of the defense to you and you had an easy layup. It yeah. was things like that all night long. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about what, what, what is it that's, you know, what is it that you're working on in practices? How are you ladies executing so well right now? Um, it's every day in practice. We work on plays, defense, offense, all kinds of stuff. And um, being able to mesh with the new girls as well and executing our plays. And I think just working on the basic fundamentals, especially with passes like Terry gave to me tonight. I'm going to ask you two questions unrelated to tonight's game, OK? The first one is the, the Flagstaff victory. You beat a team that was a Final Four at the 4A level last year. You know, great team in Flagstaff. Tough team, tough press. You guys handled it. Tell me about the victory a little bit uh, over Flagstaff. Um, at Flagstaff game, we were able to control our fouls. So we didn't really have foul trouble too much as well as um, trying to control the tempo of the game there too. We did well on boxing out during the Flagstaff game because they have some fast and quick girls and then working on taking away the wings and closing out on their shooters. Felt like it was a good all around uh, effort by your girls, wasn't yeah. it? And, and a big win, like a 13 point win or something like that over a quality opponent. Mm -hmm. So big win for your team. The other question, again, unrelated to tonight, no Madison Chapel. <laughs> I mean, it seems like we've been watching Madison play forever yeah. since she was an All-State player as a freshman for the Lady Roadrunners. Mm -hmm. Now gone, now it's your team, and now you're moving past her. You bring in Abigail Benali to help offset the loss and other ladies. But uh, how do you feel about the Roadrunners in 2021? I feel like we're starting to mesh well together without Maddie. And um, we're just getting used to defense and offense without her and just being able to level out the playing field for both offense and defense. And um, yeah, we've just been bonding during practice and being able to execute on it with everything together. Matea, thanks for joining us. Always great to see you. Congratulations, Sports on Radio player of the game. Thank you. You got it. There's Matea Aberly, the great uh, uh, post player for the Roadrunners. And uh, just another, another day at the office for her. 22 points to lead the scoring tonight for the Roadrunners. They also had one other lady in double figures. That was Taylor Spencer with 10 points. Uh, eight points for Terry Nez tonight for the Roadrunners as well. A couple of ladies had five points each. Rael Yazi had five, and Shan Foot Racer with five points in this one tonight to lead the Roadrunners to the victory. Final score 61 38. Northland basketball presented by Choice Wireless.